What's going on my fellow photoshoppers? It's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's lesson what we are going to do is have a go at creating a poster based on the advertisement for the 2018 film A Star is Born starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga and for this tutorial you are going to need the following pictures. Palm trees, metallic, the adult beautiful girl and the dumbbells. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Open your palm tree image. Go to file and save as to make sure that you are saving a copy of this for your own project. Double click on the background layer. Rename layer palm trees. Click OK. Go to create a new layer drag the new layer underneath the palm tree layer rename the new layer white background with the white background layer selected hold shift and press backspace in the content selection select white click OK go back to the palm trees layer and reduce the opacity to about 74 percent click on adjustments and black and white click back on layers to go back to the original screen click on adjustments once more and this time choose brightness contrast increase brightness to 150 reduce contrast to minus 50 go back to the layers again select a new layer rename the new layer black and white Ensure that the foreground colour is black and the background colour is white. Go to Filter, Render and Clouds. Reduce the opacity to about 38%. Drag the black and white clouds layer down below the adjustment layers and just above palm trees. Select your eraser tool. The size should be approximately 200-225 pixels, soft round, hardness 0, opacity 40% and flow 100%. With the black and white clouds layer selected, click twice on each palm tree that you can see on your canvas. Now go to your text tool. Click anywhere in the canvas and type out the text you want to have appearing on your poster. On this occasion here, the font I will be using is Ming Leo XB. The style will be regular. The size will be 250. Another similar font style that you can use is Perpetua Titling MT. And another alternative font style you can use is also Georgia. Open up your dumbbells image. Go to the rectangular marquee tool. Left click on your mouse and drag to make a selection of the middle of the canvas. Let go of the left mouse button, press Ctrl and C to copy. Go back to your project window, press Ctrl and V to paste. Rename the layer Metal Text. Ensure that your Metal Text layer is above the Text layer. Right click on Metal Text and go to Create Clipping Mask. With the metal text layer still selected, go to adjustments and brightness contrast. Set the brightness to minus 92. Press enter and click back on layers. As we did with the metal text layer, right click on the brightness contrast layer and choose create clipping mask. Go to create a new layer. Double click on your foreground window. Set the foreground color to EEC64A. Click OK. Now double click on your background color icon. Set the background color to BF861B. Click OK. Rename the layer gold text. With the gold text layer still selected, go to filter, render and clouds. Right click on the gold text layer again and choose create clipping mask. With gold text still selected go to the blending options and choose overlay. Open up the second metallic image, metallic glass. Select your move tool, 
left click, hold and drag your metallic glass image up to your own project. Don't let go of the left mouse button until you have dragged down onto the middle of your canvas. Using your move tool, left click and drag your metallic glass layer across your text until you get a metallic texture and the writing is also clear. Go to the blending options and click overlay. Rename the layer metallic glass. Reduce the opacity of the metallic glass layer to 25%. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer text brightness. Right click on the layer and go to create clipping mask. Go to your brush tool. Go to select white as your brush color. The size of the brush will be 180 pixels. Soft round, opacity 30, hardness 0%, flow 100 again. In the text brightness layer, click on sections of your text which you want to make brighter and create a shine to. You can also use the same layer to create dark sections of the text with a black brush. Open up your adult beautiful girl image. Select the magnetic lasso tool. Go to the bottom left corner of the couple, left click, hold your mouse down as you drag and draw a line around the outside of the couple. Do not worry if you accidentally select part of the background or you have not selected the entire couple themselves. Go to the bottom right corner of the couple Ensure that your mouse cursor is just off the canvas slightly. Let go of your left mouse button. Select the quick selection tool. Use the plus brush to select sections of the couple which you didn't select previously. My brush size for this one here will be 91. Left click on the sections that you want as part of your selection. and use the minus brush to deselect parts of the background that you don't need. Press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy. Go back to your original project file, press Ctrl and V to paste. Hold Ctrl and T on your keyboard to go to free transform. Hold Shift and reduce the size of the couple picture to 23%. Press Enter when you are done. Rename the layer Couple. Go back to the original couple image. Hold Ctrl, Shift and I to now select the background. Press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy. Go back to your project window. Press Ctrl and V. Press Ctrl and T. Like with the original couples image, reduce the height and the width to about 23%. Rename the new layer Couple Background. Select the Move tool, drag the background so that it is surrounding the couple as it was in the original picture. Select the Eraser tool. The size for the eraser you want this time is 200 pixels, hardness 0%, soft round, opacity 100% percent and flow 100 percent also return to the couple background layer erase all background sections going as far down as the green section in the bottom quarter of the image ensure that the white lining fades also drag your couple background below your couple image with the couple background layer selected 
go down to adjustment and black and white. Click back on layers again. Click on adjustments again and go to levels. Set black to zero, gray to 1.30 and white to 255. Click on the layers button. Right click on both the adjustment layers above couple background and choose create clipping mask. Select the couple layer. Click on adjustment, go to black and white. Click back on layers again once more. Click on adjustments again and go to levels. This time black should be set to 25. Grey should be set to 0.81 and white stays at 255. Click back on layers again. Right click on the latest black and white adjustment layer and click on create clipping mask. Do the same as well for levels so both have arrows that point down to the couple layer. Left click on the couple layer once more. Select the inner glow section. Blend mode should be set to screen. Opacity reduced to 50%. Color should be white. Choke should be set to 6%. And size should be 25 pixels. Click OK. Use the move tool, go to the text layer and drag the title behind one of the heads like so. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas about what kind of Photoshop project I should do next please leave your ideas in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching and join me soon for another Photoshop tutorial. Take care.